Don't worry, it's not a ghost. It's kind of a ghost. It resembles a ghost. You gonna do another jump scare? You do love these jump scares when I'm climbing shit game. No, just a, another torso. That's not a big deal. Oh boy, we can jump down in the poop. <coughs> At least it's not very deep. For once. You said we could be a family. I said no such thing. What are you talking about? You said! Hmm. Wait! I'm tired of waiting. That's something moving down there. Let's not go that way. What's this? Oh, this is the laundry room. Chem fluid! Machine gun bullets. That's a good sign. I like the sound of that. Nope! Nope, 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 go away. Now you can lure them out and you can get them stuck in places. Which is convenient. Be nice if we had a knife. A herb, that's a first aid thing. Wait, are you, you're not open? There's also nothing in you. Trixie bastards. Alright. So this is a fuse box. It's that guy again. Is that this one down here, or is that a different one? Janet, how's it going? I guess half a year or so will pass by the time you get this. Life's so boring here. Day after day, same old sea. Although there's one thing that's different. This time we have some passengers sailing with us, which hardly ever happens. It's a couple with a little girl. I think they're distant relatives of the captain. Imagine traveling on a tanker instead of a passenger ship. They must be hard up. I tried talking to the little girl earlier, and her dad shot me a nasty look. What's he so worried about? Now I think about it, captain said he doesn't have any relatives. I'm probably overthinking this. You might not be overthinking it, Jim. You might be dead, because you weren't overthinking it. I mean, if I had to guess, I'd say that's where Jim is. Dead from a terminal lack of not overthinking it. Handgun ammo! I don't have a handgun. I don't have any of this stuff. Probably shouldn't be picking this shit up. Amazon River Cruise Guide. Beauty in the Black Lagoon. It's too late for us, but at least I can let the world know what happened here. I was on night shift yesterday, so I was taking a nap in the bunk for around noon. Half asleep, and I heard a kid, a little girl, laughing. It was it all in my head? I woke up at 9.30, 7.30, whatever. Some sort of ruckus, ruckus in the passageway. Drew, one of the engineers, came in and said there was something going on down below. Maybe a riot. He looked pale in the face. He told me he was going down to check it out, but he never came back. It must have been around 7.50 I heard the screams. I went to the laundry room to check and saw Clark being eaten by some sort of blackish monster. Monster turned and started coming towards me. Huge shark-like teeth snapping in his jaw. I just screamed like a little girl and ran for it. Now I'm huddled up in the bunk room shaking as I write this. There's a whole host of those creatures lurking in the passageways now. I can still hear the screams now and then, but there's no way I'm going out there. And that's it. Everything I've written, everything I ever I know. Mold that aren't quite as smart as the bakers.
this door's open, and that's a good sign. Whew. Nope. Hey, a gun. Who needs courage? And you've got a gun. It even has some bullets. That's nice. Huh. Okay, let me take a quick break, and we'll come back and we'll see what else we can do. we got to find that fuse. Another door on the left, but I don't think we can use it. I think we need to get into the laundry room. So, anyway, we'll do that in a second. Okay, I think we're back. Ah, my cords are all tangled up. Okay, um, no, I think we still need... Still need that fuse, and I'm not 100% sure where it is, so let's check that laundry room. Is there another door? It's just this door. That's the door I want to go through. Oh, the other one's a different type of lock. Well, I'd like to have a knife, but you know what? Gunpowder. I can make bullets out of that. Well, this only holds nine rounds anyway. Now, you can lure this guy out of here, and then just lock him outside so you can explore. We'll, we'll kill him right now. Maybe it's not in here. Oh, nope, there it is, there it is. Okay, so we should have come in from that door and grabbed it. That's okay. Oh, shit. Did a stupid. Should have been looking. That's a little better. Oh! I kind of thought, I was hoping the door would stop him. Oh, well, now we're out of bullets, so we're dead. Probably. Ah, oh, shit. I put a penny in it. That's not what I meant to do at all. Nope! the other one at? I don't see him. Maybe there is just the one. Ugh, that was awkward. Probably should have just taken the kill and been done with it. Oh well, we'll manage. Can't go that way. We can go that way. What about the fourth floor? No. This one is blocked by stuff. And shall forever remain that way. Okay. How about some Healy stuff? You know you want to. Oh. I thought that was someone. It's just a coat. It's hard to search for stuff when this is going on. Watch it. What? Why? You need to remember, so we can be a family. I mean... okay? An old videotape covered in mold. This is probably the coolest one. Just because it kind of explains what's going on. Test subject E001. 
which hopefully sounds familiar to you. CE transport log. Top secret. Alan, you're getting worse. Mia and her GoPro. She infected me during the attack. And I'm too far gone anyway. Things are a little dodgy, like... But it serves me right. It's my fault she got out. There's issue yeah. with crew and lack fault. of and but that doesn't mean I'm gonna let you all kinds of stuff, but whatever. She didn't attack you? That's part of her imprinting <laughs> protocol. I can't believe this is happening. Babysitting. Here. Take Imprinting protocol. You find her. You fix this. Test subject E001. Okay, where are you? Code name Evelyn. This isn't gonna get good. Well, I mean, it's gonna get good. It's it's not. It's not gonna be good for these people. I almost want to use that. Probably cheaty. I don't want to use a cheaty thing. Special Operations Division Director Alan Droney and Caretaker Mia Winters. Recent reports suggest that if Evelyn remains at her current location, she's at high risk of being stolen by opposing organizations. Your order is therefore to transfer Evelyn to our Central American branch for safekeeping until further notice. During transfer, be sure to adhere to the following protocols. Act as parental guardians for Evelyn at all times to avoid suspicion. Manage Evelyn's vitals via the genome codex provided. That's our wristwatch. If the mission's compromised beyond reconciliation, dispose of her. Well, that doesn't sound good. Okay. She's close. That was pretty formulaic, but we want to get a good amount of stuff. We want to search for things and stuff. Stuff and things. We'll get a... Quite a few psycho stems at some point. I'm not going to use these. Don't know why I picked them up. I wanted the herb. Also, we can't open these. Also, these crashed my game when I was using the OBS, because something about them requires memory. There's a certain type of lock that we don't have the key for yet. That's locked from the other side. I mean, the watch is handy, but there's only so many places you can go in the first place. Picking up all the machine gun bullets is important. So knowing where they are, or knowing where to suspect they are, is good. Yeah, that's... Hey, you want to make a Psycho Stim? Are you sure you don't want to make a Psycho Stim? Because you totally could. We'll be hard-pressed to use all the ammunition they give us, even if we miss some. Cause we picking up that machine gun ammo for a reason, sucker. She's vomiting. Damn. I'll we'll have to reset. She's vomiting. How's it going? She's vomiting. Far more in excess of her body mass. <laughs> oh great. <laughs> We're gonna be seeing a lot more of her ugly friends if this keeps up. <laughs> Alright. We need to find her and fast. This is getting out of hand. Agreed. So I'm not sure if the molded are just this, given will or sentience is a uh, strong word. Uh, automation? Yeah, we'll go with that. Or if she does this to a person and then they become a molded. Because the bakers were doing something with the cop. Uh, and the same thing they did to the hippie, where they uh, stuck him in the... Uh, uh, presumably after Lucas blew him up, um, stuck him in the, uh, the thing. Stop that. Uh, the furnace thing. And he became like a super molded. And they hadn't gotten to that with the cop yet. Now we need to go to the elevator. Haven't tried that one yet. Oh yeah. Also, I love this effect, too. Oh, hi. How are you? I don't have a weapon yet.
Oh, I do have a weapon. I'm silly. Shit, I don't know why I didn't think I had a weapon. Mia starts with a machine gun. Always check your inventory. And we can climb up in here, though. Oh, this just takes me here. Well, that's neat, I guess. Okay, back this way. <coughs> okay, that's our room. Hey, there she is. We'll just follow her onto the elevator. S2, huh? I can go to S2. That's the sub-basement. Oh, shit. Forgot about you, didn't I? When your shots start to go through them, they're dead. Because they, they cease to exist, basically, as soon as they're dead. Odd that that's open. You can only go to the floors that are relevant to the story, unfortunately. Whatever happens to the plot of the next Resident Evil, I hope they leave Mia and Ethan the hell out of it. They're fine. I don't mind them as characters. But, you know, keep doing new characters, or bring back some of the old ones I like. Heme fluid. I want to be some more bullets around here. Herbs, or bullets. Now the psycho stem. No, I have the option to make one. This guy sucks a little bit. But he dies like the rest. Is this the right way? No, this isn't the right way. Okay, now we can't go that way. Oh yeah, these. Oh, these are the best. These are remote bombs. Um, I say, I thought there was bullets in here. And chem fluid. With the machine gun, you can pretty much bull anything down before it can actually hurt you. Man, this thing, when I was using OBS, would crash. I crashed like four times during this video. And the checkpoint thing is, well, it crashed like all the way out of steam even. And you start over at the beginning, or you start like halfway through or something. Alan, I think she's on the other side of the store, but I don't it's have a handy key. watch. Try to melt down the lock. You're on the bottom level, right? Check our luggage. I will say, I'm glad I bought Fraps all those years ago, because otherwise we wouldn't be having this playthrough. Be disappointed. Oh shit! I forgot I got a real knife too. This knife's a badass. <laughs> Corrosives! Oh, we can't get to that. Actually, I'm not going to open those if I can avoid it. As I noticed the first time I did this, when I opened those, when you go back to the future, they were empty. I don't know if I'll have enough corrosive to open them anyway, but... Are you mad at me, Mommy? Um, Stevie, maybe? I'm not mad. Wait... What did you call me? I don't want to live at the lab anymore. I want a house. 
And I want you to be my mommy. Okay, Evie. I I'll be your mommy. Just, just come back with me. Right now. Okay? Where are you, Evie? Remember when you said I never said we could be a family? You kinda did. That imprinting protocol. <laughs> Evie, wait! The self-destruct system has been activated. This system cannot be aborted. Did you find her? Yes, but she ran off. She's making more friends, Alan. Those things are everywhere. I told you so. Friends. <laughs> that reminds me of okay? Lucy in Z Nation. She's one of my favorite characters when they introduced her as, well, when they aged her up to be like a, oh, kindergarten age type character. And she's uh, making the zombies have tea parties with her. And they protect her from like strangers and stuff. These don't hurt you, so go nuts with them. Do a substantial amount of damage. Not always enough for a one-shot kill, but ah, these smoke effects are great. I haven't gotten them too often yet. And this, um, let's open this one. So I don't think this one matters. Okay, but like the little lockers. Uh, I wasn't able to use any of them in the future. You can also drop them in quick succession, which is lovely. Um, you can drop as many as you want, and then when you trigger them, they all go off at once. So, and the, the damage stacks. It's not one of those ignorant things where you'll set off three and you'll only get the damage for one of them. Like, that shit would happen to me all the time in Fallout 4 when I used, uh, like, bottle cap mines. It's like, I put enough explosives down to kill a Meyer Alert Queen, and then one of them goes off and sets the rest of them off, and they don't work. So, going to the third floor now, which we haven't been at. It's not a hard section, it's just... Emergency safety lockdown system has been engaged. I kept having to replay it because I kept crashing. It took hours. Because you can't save during this shit. We also can't end this video. Um, there's a locker there. Uh, oh yeah, let's go check on Alan. Evie's upstairs. Alan? And Alan's not answer Alan, answering. Are you? How do we get upstairs? Now we can use this in here. I wondered what this was for. We don't have a lot of bullets left. We'll have to be careful. Anything down here? Bullets, maybe? No. Got one of those little boxes. She's out of control. Without the treatments, she's deteriorating. Treatments? 
<laughs> oh, okay. Well, I mean, Don't say stay that. positive, I guess. <laughs> she trusts you. That little bitch. She never trusted. Okay. Evie, no, Evie, Evie! Ellen, listen! I didn't mean to call you that! She's Evie. trying to take control! You have to fight her! <laughs> Evelyn, stop! Stop! Right now! Don't touch me, don't! Well, that's fun. turn into a boss because that would suck. Well, I'm all kinds of fucked up. Well, whatever it is, we can't look at it. I don't remember a ship alarm going off, but it was a while ago. <laughs> Is there a date? I want to see when the other one was made. Ethan. You were right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have... <laughs> All I can say is that if you get this, stay away. Forget that you ever knew me. Have a good life. Mm, I can't read the dates. Presumably it was recent. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Must go faster. Oh god, no. Oh, no, oh, we exploded. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. So Evie also appears to have like Jean Grey powers. Definitely some sort of psychic phenomenon going on, which is neat. It's an interesting way to take the series. It's a... Uh, I'm not sure if it's a virus or bacterial or, or what they're doing with it, but I like it. It's neat. It has its place in the series. I mean, because it's been different. They stopped doing the T-cell, and then they did the Las Plagas parasites, and then they did Ouroboros parasites, and now we're on fungal. Uh, Mycetic it scenes, it's something. Like, uh, like, like uh, snail mold. Yes, Evelyn. That stuff's creepy. I remember. Can we be a family like before? No, Evie. We can't be a family. We were never a family. We will never be a family. Then I don't need you anymore. <laughs> Mia, you might talk too much. Let the kid have her illusions. So you can shoot her. The, uh, the ghost thing. Probably not great. Probably not great. 